CPJ condemned extension of prison terms of journalists in Azerbaijan. In recent weeks, the Azerbaijani authorities have extended the initial prison term of 11 journalists as part of the continuous suppression of the few remaining independent media outlets in the country. This is stated in the statement of the New York-based Committee to Protect Journalists, CPJ. The journalists are among 13 media workers from four independent publications charged with currency smuggling since November in connection with receiving funding from Western donors. The accusations were made against the background of worsening relations between Azerbaijan and the West and the country's preparations for the COP29 climate conference in November, the committee noted. Azerbaijan should stop using arrests and travel bans to silence and intimidate journalists, said Carlos Martinez de la Serna, director of the committee's programs in New York. The authorities should remove all charges and restrictions on movement and immediately release those still in prison, he added. CPJ provided a list of journalists whose pre-trial detention terms were extended since June the 10th. Investigative journalist Hafiz Babali extended by two months and one week, July the 9th. Toplam TV video editor Mushvig Jabbar extended by three months, July the 4th. Toplam TV founder Alasgar Mamadli extended by three months, July the 3rd. Canal 13 director Aziz Orijov extended by three months, June the 25th. Canal 13 journalist Shamo Eminov, extended by three months, June the 25th. Meklis.info founder Imran Aliyev, extended by two months, June the 13th. Abzaz media director Ulvi Hassanli, chief editor Sevinj Vagif Gizi, and project manager Mohamed Kekalov, extended by three months, June the 12th. Abzaz media journalist Nagiz Absalamova, extended by three months, June the 11th. Abzaz media journalist Elnara Gasimova, extended by two months, June the 10th. All journalists face up to eight years in prison if found guilty under Article 206.3.2 of Azerbaijan's criminal code. Azerbaijani legislation requires official approval of foreign grants, which is regularly denied. At the same time, according to experts, authorities are pressuring advertisers to squeeze out internal sources of funding. CPJ is investigating reports that at least 20 other journalists may also be banned from leaving the country, with some having their bank accounts frozen. A passenger plane superjet carrying three crew members has crashed in Russia's Moscow region, local media reported on Friday. According to preliminary reports, there were no passengers on board, and all three crew members lost their lives during the crash. The Ministry of Emergency Situations confirmed the death of the crew members and stressed that there were no casualties among civilians. The plane crashed in a forest area near the village of Apraxino near Kolomna city in Moscow region. The airliner was performing a test flight, a source told Russian RBC news agency. The head of the city district, Alexander Grechishchev, confirmed that the plane crashed in the Apraxino area. He said there were two pilots and a navigator on board. The plane belongs to Gazpromavia airline based in Moscow. The airline performed its last flight with passengers on May 3, and then was sent for repairs. Meanwhile, according to Baza Telegram channel, before the crash the airplane ran out of fuel. Блять, и мусора. Скоро. Да, две.